Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. Single best idea. What a wonderful day. Just a terrific, terrific set of guests. Yuri and Timur at Fidelity. You know, they put out decks. Every guest puts out like 20 pages, 12 pages, 40 pages of smart stuff. That's the competition of Global Wall Street. In my single page from the many decks that really has my attention is Yuri and Timmer at Fidelity looking at use of cash. The earnings that come in, what percent goes to dividends, what percent goes to share buybacks. The number is now 73% of earnings of SPX goes to the shareholders in some form or another. I think it's just an incredibly important statement uh, in this bull market that has its own character to say uh, the least. Uh, What a wonderful uh, morning to welcome back Elizabeth Economy to the show. She has been an advisor to Gina Raimondo at the the, uh, Department of Commerce here through the Biden administration. Uh, She's been pretty much invisible. She is a government official advising the delicacies of commerce and China. And now she has left commerce, and we are thrilled to have her in today. Elizabeth Economy, of course, iconic for The River Runs Black on environment, pollution, and China. A whole number of other books as well. But in the immediacy, a blistering article in Foreign Affairs magazine, sort of a uh, clarion call of America to wake up. Here is Dr. Economy on the new China. For, you know, 30, 35 years, we had 90% engagement, 10% competition, right? Now we're basically at uh, 90% competition Mm. and 10% engagement. I think actually, unfortunately, we've got it about right at this point. I think we need to understand that China's not interested in the kind of engagement that we've you know, pursued for 30 some years. They have their own vision. They want their own norms, their own values, their own interests reflected on the global stage. Elizabeth Economy, uh, they're uh, writing in Foreign Affairs magazine. Just uh, see that complete interview, just really, really important uh, statement as well. We had a colleague of Jim uh, Karen's in at Morgan Stanley, Vahal Kanjuja, and we talked to him about fixed income. And later in the interview, I dropped the nicety of real estate. He mentioned that they're finding opportunities away from office buildings. And I brought up two stories that are out there right now. The success and perhaps fragilities of what Barry Sternlich sees at his real estate combine. And also, of course, the debate about Blackstone. And Blackstone is ferocious that things are fine uh, with their big real estate combine. And others are saying, eh, maybe not. So this was a really important uh, a comment by Vihal uh, Kanjuja of Morgan Stanley on office real estate. We do think that there are structural issues in that market. Um, I think the mark to market is not yet reflecting uh, the reality of what office CMBS could be going forward. Again, we are public fixed income in our portfolios, uh, so we constantly look at the what the public fixed income market is offering us, and then that market has not yet adjusted. Maybe the privates and the loan market has from that end. So we are staying away at this point, being very patient. At some point, uh, the value will become superbly attractive to us to get back in to earn that extra coupon and total return potential. Uh, idiosyncratically, we are seeing certain opportunities pop up in, in certain, you know, whether it's San Fran or, or uh, parts of New York City as well. Uh, but we are not making it as an asset allocation trade in our portfolio. It's very idiosyncratic still. Important conversation, Vihal Kanduja uh, with Morgan Stanley, their broad-based fixed income, working with Jim Karen, who's a, a good friend of the show. I really can't say enough about the interesting almost soup that we're in into the second quarter, staggering to June 30th. There's a Fed meeting in the way of getting to the end of the quarter. And, of course, all the focus right now is on NVIDIA. I should say thank you, Dan Ives, for attendance today with Wedbush. Yes, I know, he's an uber bull on AI and on technology, but it was good for him to parse the mystery that's out there of what AI should do. I should make one point with Bloomberg Technology, Ed Ludlow having a fabulous week in in Las Vegas, an important conversation with Michael Dell and Jensen Wing as well. Look for that out on uh, on, uh, Bloomberg. We're on Apple CarPlay. We're on Android 
Download the uh, Bloomberg Business app uh, as well. And on YouTube, search Bloomberg Podcasts. Subscribe to Bloomberg Podcasts. From New York City, single best idea.